I'm on the ferry here from Denmark to Sweden. We just crossed under the bridge. And as I was looking at that bridge, it just reminded me of bridging gaps. And the biggest gap that we have to bridge is the gap between our perception and the reality. And I have found that so many times we have a perception of how we act and how we do things and how good we are in different areas, especially in our leadership skills. Our people and our team's perception, how do they perceive us? Like, I have found the self-awareness to be the, the bridge between what we perceive to be our abilities and what the reality is. And the more self-aware we are, the, the better that bridge, right? And, and the more we are able to uh, bridge these two, two, two sides, right? So if you imagine, if you look back at the bridge behind me, is there in the back, right? On one side, it's your perception and your perception of your reality and the, the way you do things. And on the other side is actually your actions and behaviors. And sometimes we have the best intentions in the world, but our actions and our behavior is not perceived the same way uh, by uh, people around us. So awareness and self-awareness is that bridge. If you find yourself in a situation where you feel there, you had the best intentions, but people do not perceive you the way you wanted, or you your message didn't really get across the way you wanted, that's a sign that maybe that bridge, that self-awareness bridge, is not as solid as it should be. And you want to see how could you bring those two together? How could you be more aligned between what your perception of reality is and what reality is? And this is more critical than ever in, in leadership and leading ourselves. And Because how could we lead our team anywhere if we are not able to lead ourselves? I know there is a saying by Arne Carnegie who said that the older I get, I pay less attention to what people say. I watch what they do. So build that bridge, bring those two together. Uh, I look forward to see you around.